guys, this is Rodney from Flies Kicks Every Day, and I'm here with RGTV and In Phase Car Audio, man. Just shouting them out. What's up, guys? This is Phil here with RGTV. I'm with my man Rodney with Fake Flies Yo, Kicks guys. Every Day, and we are going to get started with this interview. So, last year, if anybody remembers, we caught up with Rodney downtown in the old market, and we kind of got under that actual rough blade surface of Fake and what you guys do. So, now we just kind of want to follow up. Um, since last year, since we last talked, uh, what, you know, can you tell us what you've been doing? Oh man, it's crazy, man. I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff, man. What haven't I been doing? Uh, well, uh, let's see. We had Bruce Briggs. He came in from, from I think it was California, if I'm not mistaken. He's a huge film director, man. Had a huge passion for kicks, you know. And he, he comes to town and he says, you know, I need to find the Godfather of shoes, man. So. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He called me the Rod Father. I know. He called me the Rod Father, actually. Uh, and he was directed to me, man. We sat down, you know, and we shot ideas back and forth. He said, like, you know what, man? I'm shooting a, a sneaker documentary. I want you to be a part of it, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to film you and a bunch of your guys, man. And I want to uh, show it at the Sundance Music Festival. And I'm like, well, yeah. I'm like, what? I mean, can't say no to that. Uh -huh. So, you know, he's been filming us all year, man. He's been filming me, like, printing up t-shirts, sending out shoes. He's been filming me and the band, you know, because the band, we all like, you know, nice shoes too, you know, so mm -hmm. we came to our show at the Carver Bank Center on 24th and Lake, shout out to Joanna LaFleur, mm -hmm. and just filmed our shoes while we were, you know, performing and all that good stuff, you know, man, it's, I mean, it's, it's turning out uh, really, really nice, man, you guys can follow him on Instagram, his name is uh, at Bruce the Director, you know, okay. so. Cool, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, um, that's, I mean, that's amazing, like, to see just how everything evolves, you know, you just, you catch up with people even just a year later, even maybe even a month later, yeah. and you see the progression and everything and how it happens. Yeah. What um, you know, as far as the future, I mean, do you guys have any plans like upcoming plans, like something going on with with Faith that is just like really exciting besides that? Like yeah, uh, actually, man, you know, I always got a lot of buzz and a lot of flack. You know, they say, you know, what you are shoes in Nebraska. You know, you know, it's time to you know take things to the next level. And I say, you know, I, I definitely understand, man. You know, it's time to take things more more away from like a clothing and shoe aspect, like selling wise and store wise, more to like event wise, you know? So okay. me and a few other guys that I, that I do a lot of work with, I do a lot of work with my buddy Lee Martin at, uh, at Down Omaha, you know, that's his clothing brand. We decided to come together and you know, we're, I think we're going to go to a sneaker convention, you know, July 26th at the Ralston Banquet Hall, you know? At that, is it the Ralston Arena Center? Is that on 72nd? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Q, uh, I think it's Q Street. Between Q and L right Something there? Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be nice. That would be real nice. So, I mean, you, you mentioned that that guy calls you uh, the, the Rod Father, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah. with that being said, how many people actually come to you with sneaker advice? I mean, that's a question we never really, mm -hmm. you, you know, we never really got on. How many people actually come to you about sneakers? Oh, man, it's, oh. it's crazy, man. I want to say, like, at least... 10 people a day and that's no exaggeration i was actually just at uh i was just at house of loom about a week ago for my buddy uh skyler and uh nate their album just dropped they're both of them you know? yeah and uh, you know i had the I had the fake t-shirt on and a, a kid came up to me and you know he was just like starstruck you know he was just like you know i'm like what's up man and he said dude <laughs> you're you're the fake guy, you're right, and I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, dude, I just want to tell you it's an honor to meet you. I got so many ideas I want to toss at you, man. And you know, on my end, I'm like, okay, cool. I know I'm just a regular person, and you probably can't shoot any ideas in me that I hadn't already heard. And, yeah. You know, he wanted, you know, well, can we do a shirt together, you know, or man, how do you guys get all your heat kicks? You know, you guys spend a thousand dollars on kicks, and I'm like, you know, I can't speak. For everybody, I can only speak for myself. I said, I, I assure you, I'm not. Um, yeah. You know, he's asked me, well, let's let's put a sneaker expo together, and I'm like, oh, we're already doing it, man. You know. Yeah. But you know, it was nice just to you know, you just gotta hear everybody out. Just know? to yeah, get that recognition and 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 kind of just understand what the people are saying. Too. Yeah, of course. That's, I mean, that's kind of what it's kind of what I do here. You know, I, I love the feedback and I love when uh, people can can help me out with things too. Mm -hmm. um, as far as being involved in the the community, mm -hmm. are there um, are there any, I don't want to say, is there, is there anything that you're doing to be like in, super involved with the community, with the people of Omaha? Besides oh, yeah. giving advice and besides just being that sneakerhead guy, yeah. is there some things in the community that you're doing that people aren't seeing or recognizing that you might maybe want to tell them? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, you know, 
you know, it's always bigger than shoes. You know, back in the day when we both worked at the shoe thing together, we had guys lined up like outside the finish yeah. line, and they're just, you know, we need, you know, you know, I'm, I need two pairs of these, and blah blah blah, you know, and you know, it's always a rat race. You know, it's like we're almost like you know crabs in a cage. You know, everybody's pulling each other down just to get their size. So yeah, you know, creating fake has kind of helped that out a bit. You know, now. The guys standing in line are like this with the guys who work behind the counter us. You know, we can always help each other out in various ways. And, the, you know, other than shoes. Um, and, you know, I kind of wanted to keep that going. So now I'm not helping people, you know, with shoes anymore. I'm also helping people who can't get shoes. You know, I'm also helping kids, you know. Yeah. Um, about a week ago, we started a donation uh, fund in fate to send kids back to school. It's coming up August, I believe, August like 13th, send them back to school, you know, right, you know. We're going to get a bunch of backpacks, we're going to yeah. stuff them with pencils and books and, you know, the essentials. Are also, I mean, we're also going to stuff them with, like, shoes, depending on how, you know, little the kids are. Because, you know, little kids just destroy their shoes. And, yeah, definitely. You know, not everybody in Omaha, you know, has a lot of money, you know. So, but I figure if I got guys spending, you know, 3400 on what the LeBron 10, you know, I can get you guys to... You know, pitching a few bucks and get some kids some sneakers. You know. Yeah, just to, just something, to, just something to help out the people. Yeah. And that's you know that's I mean that's that's what all this is about. You know, it's all about helping the people. It's all about it's all about one uh, getting your name out there so people know who you are, mm -hmm. and then showing the people that you actually care. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Um, with RGTV, I like to I like to uh, show people that mm -hmm. when I'm interviewing them. It's not just about them, and it's not just about me. Yeah. It's about us connecting together and being with the community. Oh yeah, of course, man. So I'm just so glad that we we're able to follow up with you with Fake. Um, and now you said you had a band. Yeah. I, I know you. I know you, you touched base mm -hmm. last year about the band. Mm -hmm. What is the band's name? And can we get an interview? <laughs> we can. We can always get an interview. Man. Uh, the name of the band is called uh, The Dreams. The schedule nowadays, yeah. especially. Especially from a year ago today, from where you were at a year ago today to where you are at now. I know, man. We were working at Finish Line together. I know, man. And now you're doing fake and here you are. I mean, you're on your TV at In Face Card. Yeah, here you are, dude. I mean, it's crazy, man, to see us evolve and blossom. I know, I remember you were doing the DJ thing, you know, my cousin. Uh, galvanized trying he was like, man, you know, Phil, he's tearing it up, man. And then I was like, you know, he's going to have his own show pretty soon. He was just like, only Phil, man. You can only see that from Phil, man. <laughs> only Phil. Man. He couldn't see that anybody else. Well, it's been really good catching up with you. Yeah. And I would personally like to invite you back here once a month Let's do to it. RGTV yeah. to just catch up with everything that you got going on. I want to I wanna keep involved with you guys. Yeah. We're going to try and get footage at the events and things that you have going on. Mm -hmm. If we have your praises, I would love to kind of connect with you on that level. Of course. And um, it's kind of a surprise question for you. I just want to see if that's something we could do, something we could network with man, and link up. You know? Dude, let's do it, man. Like I said, I got secret con, man. Come on out. Shoot some footage, man. I mean, we'll be performing. Uh, Dreamhouse will be performing both. Uh, Skyler and they will be performing. Uh, Peachy Design is short and Lizzle, that is a Lee Martin at Down Omaha. We will all be performing at this. Can you tell them um, when and where again you guys are doing this at? Yeah, it is at the Ralston Banquet Hall at the Ralston Arena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What day is it again? That's July 26th. That's a Saturday, guys, so put that in your calendar. Yeah, we'll have um, <clears throat> we'll have everything on RGTV. Can you give them uh, just one last, can you give them websites mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, shout outs, anything that you... Uh, yeah. Anywhere that you we can find you at. Oh you know? man! Oh yeah! Uh, man, follow us on Instagram and yeah, follow us on Instagram at, at Fly Ass Kicks at Fake Nebraska. Uh, you can follow the band at the Dream House Band. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at just at Rodney Carnies. I don't have a cool name, boring name. So yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, crap. Who else is there? Uh, follow at PG the Sign of Shore. Uh, follow at Down Omaha. Uh, man, I, it's so many people to shout out, man. Shout out to the band. Shout out, shout out to Phil, man. Like what? Like, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, appreciate shout it. Shout out to Phil, man. What's uh, what's and what's what's the main website for Fake? Uh, right now we are on a clothing based website, so it's just at it's shopthedownco.com. Shop.thedownco.com. All these will be in the description, and we just want to give a big thanks to these guys right here. Thanks for coming in. Of course. This has been Phil with RGTV. There it is. We're at In Face Car Audio. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you guys next week. To love and live forever in each